Hello. Today, we're respraying some stuff on Martha. There's a lot of imperfections and a few things that just need to get a little bit of love. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be respraying some cool stuff on Martha. We're gonna be jacking up Martha on all four wheels. Two jack stands plus two brand new jack stands. <laughs> Jack stands, nice. Before I jack her up, I'm gonna try to take off some things I can take out right now. If I have the jack stands under, it's gonna be kind of tricky to take out the side skirts. Got the zip tie here. One zip tie here. A lot of zip ties here. I think it's free. Hopefully last zip tie here. Now just gotta undo the bolts in the bottom. <laughs> This was a pain. Now, jack her up. Wait, no, 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 don't jack her up yet. Loosen your lug nuts first. Okay, all wheels are loose. Now raise her up. Lower that jack. Now gotta do this side. Boom, side curse her off. Jack stands are on. If you hear a lot of wind and a lot of lawnmowers, sorry about that. It's just it's that kind of day. Side skirts are off. Next step, take out the back wheels. Ready. All the lug nuts are already loose, so I can use a shiny board. <laughs> I just gotta take out my side skirt. Oh, that was better. Now I gotta do these zip ties down here. Got one out. Gotta undo this thing. It's gonna come off. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, it was definitely time to refresh them. Now this side. What the? It normally works. Oh, there you go. She's looking naked. Now, removing the front bumper. Ooh. Bolt, bolt, zip tie, zip tie. Now I gotta undo the fog light. Gotta undo this guy. Boom. Shiny boy is ready. Damn it. Again, remember, these are already loose. Look. 
barely did anything. All wheels are off. One more fog light. There you go. Oh, I forgot. You also want to do your side markers, your quarter markers. Twist it. Pops right out. Twist. Click. Now our bumper should be ready to come off. Hell yeah. She is so naked. Oh my god. So we're gonna be painting all of these things. So I'm gonna have to sand all of it. I'm gonna take this out real quick. Ooh. Putting the emblem right here. I hope I don't forget it. Let's get to work. To make my life easier, I'm gonna take out the fog lights. Three Phillips, Phillips screws. They're being held on by these slots right here. So there's one, two, three. Take them out. Put the fog lights where they basically go so I can remember where they belong when I put it back on. Looking a bit naked. Took out the shot markers too, just to make my life a little easier. There we go. Looking very naked. Paint setup. Ta-da. That's good. Something I did off camera. I put a few more shelf tappers on the front lip so it can be a little stiffer because it's starting to get loose. And then I put some fresh drip ties. I did a little lip support basically. And look, if you see this lip, it has some bolts on here holding on good. This one had none, it was just flapping. I just put a zip tie. That's good. I ain't doing nothing. No more movements. But okay. Front lip feels very sturdy and secure. Let's sander and get dusty. So about 20, 30 minutes of sanding. Uh, almost done. I'm just going to do about a few more spots. And then after those spots, I'm going to primer it. A couple spots later. I feel confident with my sanding. I'm just gonna take out all the dust with some brake cleaner. Well, first I'm gonna wipe it down a bit. I got most of that dust. You can't see it in video, but in real life, this thing is dusty. That feels pretty good. Let's start spraying it on spots that are hard to get to. And you wipe. Let's repeat that process a couple times. Wipe down. Put a, I feel pretty confident with it. Let's get it primered up. This is my crappy Walmart primer. Let's take it up. Let's begin. Okay, she's primed up. I found some new spots I gotta sand. Yeah. So, more sanding. Boom. She's been sanded more. Now it's time to put more primer. Primer her up. Okay, boys and girls. She's primed up. And yeah, it looks pretty ugly. But when you stand about 10 feet, it looks beautiful. So it's time. So when I paint it, I'm gonna keep the bumper down. I'm just gonna keep it down so I can do the top well. And then when I feel confident, I'll stand it back up and do like the bottom layer. This is such a cool tip Johan taught me. So see how, there's, see how there's nothing down here? Shake it up. Shake that ball so hard that you see little dimples. You see them? It ain't much, but we ready. Let's transform this thing to whiter bumper is done it's over there by the car now i'm just going to finish up these so typical sand primer paint let's get these ugly ones done look how ugly and sanded brake cleaned wiped down Primer a little bit. There's not much left. Ready for paint. Paint. Ooh. 
ran out of spray paint. There's just a little bit left to do. There's a few marks that really aren't painted too well. So, it's Sunday, basically everything closes early and plus the pandemic makes everything close early already. So I'm gonna have to finish this hopefully tomorrow. Putting everything back together. Fog lights are in. Side markers are put in. I just gotta plug them in. This guy, this guy goes in here. Then you twist it. Plug, plug. Bam! Out. Couple days later. That one night started to rain a little bit. It got dark, I was tired. So I, get, I didn't get to finish this side, sadly. And I ran out of paint to paint the mud flaps. But today we're gonna be putting this bad boy on. So let's jack her up and see what we gotta do. Actually, before I jack her up, I wanna paint this white, make it look a little prettier because that's pretty ugly. Just a quick little rattle can job. That should be fine. Oh, here's my quick little booth. Let's paint a little. Uh, I hope it doesn't go in. Okay, it's kind of going inside. Okay, that's fine. That's way better than before. Boom. Not so ugly. Okay, now jack her up. Sticking out. <clears throat> it's kind of doing the job, but it can do better. See that hole in the fender? We're going to put one shelf tapper right in there. God. Two shelf toppers are in. Now my girlfriend can take this creepy wood screw out. Nope. Put a shelf tapper in there. It's gonna be covered by the side skirt. And then we got two more down here. And she ain't going nowhere. That's awesome. Now, side skirt. Zip tie. Zip tie there. Now I just gotta zip tie a few more spots. I might need a long one. Yep, I need a longer one. So I'm just a long boy. Shove it in there. There we go. Should be fine. Oh, it snapped. That's what happens when you have dollar store zip ties. So I have to combine two of them. Take one zip tie there. Make it go through here. I hope they don't hit the wire. All zip tied up. She ain't going nowhere. Now I just gotta put some shelf tappers in the bottom. It's gonna be all good. I'm just gonna snip out these extra zip tie pieces. This is on. Not it's looking beautiful on this side. So now, my girlfriend's gonna be pushing up here, making it like in place. And I'm gonna be shelf tappering these holes. We're making one hole there, one hole there. Putting on these little guys. Motherfucker. I hope my car doesn't crush me. One is in. Self tapper. Boom. Um. Bam. She is on. This thing is not going anywhere. She is not gonna move. And there's like no gaps right there. This turned out amazing. Lower that Miata. Let's wipe these wheels down. Cause look how nasty they are. There you go. Ugly. Pretty. All right, let's clean them up. Wow. I really like how these wheels look. Nice. Now this side. Ooh. Shiny. I'm hype with it. Now all, all I need to do now is put on my mud flap. So putting on the mud flap, I think I'm gonna save it for a next video because I need to buy paint, which I still haven't gotten. Then I gotta put them on, I gotta take out the wheels. It's a mess, I don't think I'm doing that today. It's been a week since I've uploaded, so I'd rather upload now and then next video I just resume on everything. So here's a quick little video.
<laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you. I didn't want to believe my feelings for you. I didn't want to believe that I could lose you if I told you just how I felt. But I can't help it. I'm falling for you and I can't quit it cuz I'm stuck on you and it might be pathetic and you might be skeptical okay yeah that'll be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching press that like and subscribe you're awesome